What's up gang? Welcome back to another Wednesday tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about keyframes and how to use those in order to animate titles and graphics in your videos. It's very awesome and it's very eye catching. So I can show you guys the basics of how to use keyframes in order to animate titles and graphics in your videos. It's a lot easier than you think. First off, let's talk about what keyframes are. It's almost like a road sign because it's like, you know, it tells your footage when to start, when to stop, where to go. You're basically assigning movement to different values of your video, whether it's position or scale or rotation or anything like that. So if you guys saw Monday's video where I used some graphic animation to interact with like a virtual setting and I was like swiping the screens off, it was really cool looking and the only thing that I really used to do that were keyframes. Now I went ahead and I designed those pages. I got screen grabs from epidemicsound.com. I took those into Photoshop and I just manipulated them to look kind of a virtual atmosphere of some sort. Once you understand the basics, you can take those basics and start to use them and build on your skills to really up your game you know, with bigger and bigger ideas. So let's go ahead, we're gonna get into After Effects and I'm gonna show you guys how to use keyframes in order to animate some graphics and titles. All right guys, so we went ahead, we opened up After Effects, we're just going to choose New Project, which I already did. Uh, we're gonna come over here, we're gonna hit New Composition. So what we're gonna do is start off super easy. We're just gonna go ahead and grab some text and we're gonna write, hello, please animate me. So what we're gonna do first is we are going to click down here on our, in our timeline, and we're gonna hit the letter P, as in position, and we're gonna hit shift, and we're gonna hit S. So that will bring up position and scale. Simply enough, here we go, we're going to hit this little stopwatch right here, and that is going to add this little diamond. Now this little diamond right here is called a keyframe. All right, and as soon as I hit that, it recorded this value right here. So the keyframe is actually set for this position right here. What we need to do is take and move that off screen. So you saw that these numbers right here changed. And now this keyframe recognizes these measurements. So we are gonna go ahead, I don't know, a few frames in there, maybe 12 frames. And we're gonna take, and we're going to bring that right into the middle of the screen. And then all you have to do is just play your timeline. There you go. We just animated our text, super easy. So maybe we want to make this kind of grow a little bit. Let's go ahead, we're gonna hit the scale, and that's gonna be at 100%. Let's go out another couple frames, and we'll take, and we're gonna make that grow about that much. So, it comes in, then it grows. All right, not rocket science. It's not the most impressive animation in the world. So let's go ahead, we'll just delete these keyframes. So, this time, we're going to take and we're going to hit our position keyframe. We're going to start off screen again. We're going to go out, uh, let's do another 12 frames. And then we're going to take and bring our text right into the middle of the screen again. But this time, there's this little button right here. It's called mo uh, motion blur. It simulates uh, shutter duration. So we want to hit that right there, that's gonna give our text some blur. So it looks like it's moving fast. And that's a really great place to put a, like a whoosh or something like that. So it's like, whoosh, and you know, like kind of whips in. Don't forget to go up here and enable motion blur for your composition. If you can imagine a whoosh in there, I can do it right now with my mouth. Are you ready? Whoosh. See, now that's fun. If you want to, 
rotate. Now you can hit R for rotation. And if you hit U, it's gonna show you your other keyframes. So go ahead and hit Shift R. That way you can keep your position keyframes and actually line up with those. So we're gonna go ahead and we have hit the stopwatch to create a keyframe for our rotation. And you'll notice that it's at zero. Uh, so it's not gonna do anything. It's just gonna, the same thing we just did. But if we go out to our other keyframe and we go to this value right here and we just hit one. Now between these keyframes, it's going to rotate in. It's flipping in like that. Let's add another text layer. Thank you for the animation. So what we're gonna do with this one is actually almost stack it right there. I know that it's like really hard to see, so we're just gonna go ahead and take the eyeball off of it. Now, let's go ahead and we're gonna hit the U button so we can see all of our keyframes again. And we're gonna start right here as soon as it lands. Let's move ahead eight frames. And we're going to hit Shift S, that'll bring up our scale. We're gonna hit our stopwatch to make a keyframe. And we really want this to fly out of screen towards us at a high rate of speed. So we're going to do something like that. Now, it's not gonna go, we're not gonna go completely behind it because we are in a two-dimensional sequence. You can create inside of a three-dimensional sequence, but for this, we're just gonna kind of fake it. So we have gone ahead and this is what our animation looks like as of right now. So it flies out at us very fast. Let's go ahead and actually, I'm gonna pull that keyframe out a little bit just so it's a little slower. Now inside of here, we wanna line up our opacity, which hit shift T, will give us our opacity value. The stopwatch, once again, we're lined up over here with our keyframes. We're gonna go out, and if you hold shift while you drag, it'll actually snap to other keyframes if you wanna keep everything lined up. And we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna pull the opacity down. So it looks like when it comes out, it's flying at us and then flies past us, all right? Now, as we just made that, what we wanna do is start on our second text way back here, and we can blow this up a tiny bit. I'm gonna go out a few frames, and we're gonna click up here, and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna hit scale, we're gonna hit shift P to get our position up, Shift T to get our opacity, and we don't really need any rotation on this one. So, as we're like halfway through our transition on the first text, like zooming towards the screen, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna lay down a scale keyframe for our second set of text. With this keyframe, we're going to take the scale down. You can just hit zero. A lot easier. And as this is coming out at us, this one is gonna be flying in from behind it. It's almost like following it. So we are going to then take our scale up to 100. So now we need to toggle our motion blur for that right there. And now this is what things look like. So as you saw, 
as the first text layer, please animate me, is flying out at us. The second one is flying in from the background, almost from space. It's like whoosh, whoosh. If you right click on a keyframe, you can go down to keyframe assistant and you can go into like ease out, easy ease out or ease in. It'll just be more smooth. That's pretty much that right there. So that's the basics of keyframing. It really will up your game when you're making videos. When people are looking at your channel and they come to see a video of yours and they see some really cool special effects like this, you know, that, that amps them up. They're like, oh man, this guy knows what he's doing as far as video. Um, you know, they are putting some time and effort into their production value. And, and that's awesome, that really draws a crowd. Once you guys have the basics down, it's just a matter of adapting those ideas to bigger ideas and making things work for you. You can take any value and add a keyframe to it in order to change it in some way. If you want something to zoom in, you use the scale. If you want something to fly in from the right, you use position. Um, you know, it's just a, it's a matter of really just taking the basics and adapting them to every idea you have. And if you don't have After Effects, don't worry about it. It's not that big of a deal because most editing programs allow you to use keyframes in order to animate different values. If you need more of an explanation, you can hit me up for a one-on-one -on -one lesson on how to animate and how to use keyframes in order to animate different things in your videos. And if you wouldn't mind, I'd really appreciate it if you went down there, hit that thumbs up button and nail that subscribe button for new content every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.